Okay, I'm going to try something different. A while back, I bought a bunch of uh, milkweed seeds off eBay. Figure how many thousands of seeds it is. I'm going to try it, grow, grow a couple of different ways. Uh, I'm going to try indoors, then plant them this spring. And then I'm going to plant some right before winter outside and see what happens. I also want to show you something else too when I get out there toward the end of the video. Okay, I'm going to start right here. There's a pretty little rose growing up right here. And there's a couple more there. Roses. And here's the Jerusalem artichokes. Get a better look at the flowers here. Okay, I'm going to start down at the bottom here. And by the way, today is, um, what is today? September 6th. And uh, it rained yesterday and overnight a little bit. We didn't get much rain. And I've done some studying on these watermelons here. Let me see. They said this little pigtail thing here, I don't know if you can see it. If it's brown, then the watermelon is right. That looks like it's right. Let me check my big one here. See this there? This is not ripe yet. This is not. I don't know if you can see that. It's not brown. It's still green. This whole stem got to be brown before that gets ripe. Now, this one, let's go back to this first one here. What happened here is that this limb is, this stem is broken down here, and that's probably why that's brown. So this may not really be ripe. I think I'm going to pick that in a little bit, cut it open anyway. I don't think it's going to grow anymore because this stem's broken, look like. I don't know. It might not be broken. Okay, no, here's the pigtail right here. That's a different pigtail. It's, I forgot what you call these things. But anyway, it's this green. It's not ripe yet. It's green. It got to turn brown. So that's how you tell that little pigtail thing. And let me go over here first. I'm going to start backwards here because I want to go out to the uh, milkweed plant. Okay, strawberries. Look, I got a couple small ones. It can wait a little bit. See out here near this ditch here, we've been having milkweeds growing, and we've been having a very long dry spell this summer, and kink of the water hose out here to water them, so they've been dying. And see, this is the milkweed plant. There's another one there. They're for minor uh, butterflies. And this thing here, it's not done yet. This is a seed, a seed pot here. You got thousands of seed, hundreds of seeds in it. And they said the best way to save the seeds without getting blown around is to put a pla plastic bag over them to catch the seeds. So I hope this works. So I'm gonna put a plastic bag over here, close it as much as I can. Is it? Ziploc bag. It's not. It's. It, it said once it, uh, you uh, put pressure on it and it splits open, then the seeds ready to be taken out of it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do it this way. 
Because I, I don't want to come out here all the time and keep checking it, keep checking it, keep checking it. And so that's the best way to do it. And we're going to go back out here to the garden area again. I'm not going to water today because we had rain until the early stamp. I told you about my watermelons, so they're not ready yet. They got a lot of a lot of those little pigtail things on it, but this one right here, show you again. It's green. It's not ready. That big watermelon I got here comes up from the Y here, and it's it's almost ready. It's starting to turn brown at the top. So, I'm not going to cut it. Uh, when I said I was going to cut it, it was going to be today. Yeah, see any tomatoes in here? Nope. I see some on the other side over there. Oh, I see one over here. Okay, one over here. Uh, yeah, oh. I don't know. That might be worth saving. There ain't no bugs inside of it. Okay. All these damn I'm a darn weeds. Uh, let's see. Let me get my clippers. They're small, but I'm gonna clip them anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to grow milkweeds two different ways. I'm gonna try inside. They say inside you got a 50-50 chance of it grows and not milkweeds. But you can spread them outside in the wintertime. So I'm gonna try both ways. That's a good one. Let's see. The rest of these I'm gonna keep on here, I think. Usually the ones in the back, hard to see. No, throw that one right away. Uh, okay. Let me see what we got here. Uh, these are the bell peppers. Yeah, I might pick that on the other side. I think I'm going to pick those. I don't know yet. These are the sweet peppers. They're getting the biggest bell peppers. Let me look under here if I can. Let me pick some yellow peppers here. These yellow jalapenos. Like I said, I just dice them up and freeze them. From YouTube, oh. the stay at home chef. Beer braised bratwurst and I got turned the speaker off of my phone. Let me try something here. I got this app here. Okay. Um, that pigtail and that watermelon. Tendrils. It's called tendrils. That's what it's called. I forgot I saved it on my phone. It's called tendrils. I call it pigtails because it starts looking like a pigtail. Anyway. Oh, I forgot I had that on my phone saved for when I do my video. Okay. I'll take that one there. 
Yeah, these yellow peppers that start popping out crazy. They're everywhere now. I'm glad. That one just came right off. Okay. See what we do on jalapenos. Aha. Uh -huh. They're starting to pop up like crazy too now. Yep. Oh, here's another one. And the more I pick the more they'll start popping up. Give energy to the rest of the fruit. And get them before the bugs get them. Let's see. Oh, here's another one here. Nah, I'll keep that. I'll keep it on a little bit longer. Hopefully the bugs don't get it. Okay. Now, let's go to the next one. That's a small one too. I'll try to grow them up a little bit bigger if I can. If I come out here every two days and spray them down with water, maybe that might help help to keep the bugs off. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna let those grow a little bit more. Oh, I see some tomatoes over here. These are grape tomatoes. I don't know how that grape tomato plant got over here because that wasn't supposed to be one. Maybe the seed transferred from one plot to another pot before when I was growing them. I mean, saving the seeds. Okay, got some grape tomatoes. They're growing pretty well in the bucket. Not so much over here. Pepper does really well over here in the pepperoncinis. But the grape tomatoes grow better in the bucket. We're going to pick the cherry tomatoes too. Not all of them, just some of them. We still got a lot in the house. We got a couple of little green things on it, tomatoes, but that one just came right off. Clean this thing up here. And when that one's dead, that limb. Make it look a little better too. Um, you got some bell peppers that becoming a uh, pretty good size. You want me to pick them now or just wait? Huh? Leave for a more days. Okay, so far the bugs haven't touched him. Okay. So I got some pepperoncini, some tomatoes, grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Forgot what the other tomato was. I think it wasn't a record. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Beef steaks, I don't know. See a little baby one over there. Oh, I got some more jalapenos here. Uh. Yep, picking that one. Pick this one. Yeah, one of these beef steaks, I thought it was a beef steak. It's not a beef steak. There's a beef steak down there. 
Let me get a hole in it. Uh, I got some birds on this one. No peppers. Silly, like me chopping the uh, peppers up in the rings and put them in pickling vinegar and cheese to juice some food. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing. Oh, yellow peppers. I don't see none on this side. Let's see. Not really. Not worth picking. I'll leave this sweet pepper. She said, keep the bell pepper on a little bit longer. A couple more days. Okay, don't see nothing red in here or yellow. And here I do. Get one down here. Yeah, perfect. Here's a baby one here. Perfect, no bug bugs. It got a little green on top, but that's fine. We got a lot of tomatoes yet to eat. Okay. Let me see something here. This one down here. Oh. This tundra is all dry, green dried up. See that? That's too small to be done. It said once I dry it up, it's not, it's, it's not receiving, the fruit is not receiving any nutrients no more. So I don't know. That's too small to cut open. I could just do it for a test. I don't know. We'll see. We all see. Mm. Okay. My pie pans are banging against the trees the way they should be to keep the squirrels away. We got some fruit out of the trees, but we still lost a lot. There was a big limb going over the pool there. That tree wasn't trained early enough, and it went. It was dropping leaves inside the pool. We had to cut it off. <laughs> right there. Well... Two more days, I'll come out here again. If we don't get no rain, I'll water it and pick. Try to beat the bugs to it. So I hope you like what I have so far. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to keep coming back.